And Crean prepared to talk about team world build, which is actually fortunate because a while ago I did a demo of team world build, which I remember perfectly that it was very charming. It's a city builder, which is very classic in the fact that you need to expand your city, get more citizens, get all sorts of citizens, satisfy their needs. The little tweak here is that you, your people are robots and it really seemed as the old far west, the old far west and robots. Well, so you have a city builder on this and basically, if I recall, the planet was dying and you need to dig deep to get some old civilization artifact to get a rocket and leave the world. So it, uh, it's a set of Pikmin. Basically. And uh, yes, so on the surface, you have your very classic city builder where you need to get even more people, more appliances to make sure they are not cranky. You need to get oil to make sure that the machine parts work well eh? because you are dealing with, with robots in a desert. And after you create a mine shaft to go, and of course you need to mine. And uh, I recall that the gameplay was a bit different. I really need to rewatch the video, but again, I came completely unprepared. I recall though so that the, uh, there was a difference in gameplay and it really added flavor to the game. The demo was a, a bit short, but I remember that I really enjoyed it. So first of all, I, I recommend that if you're interested in this game, it gets out on December 1st. And uh, yeah, I would recommend that you go watch the demo I made. Not because it's a fantastic, but the game is great. Maybe not the way I play, but at least if you want to see what it's about, I recommend you go, you go check that and check that out. And uh, yeah, no, that's a very nice game to put into your backlog. So I'm going to add a few details here. It's coming out on December 1st, which is fantastic. Another few things as well is this has a sandbox difficulty for people who just want to build, right? So with a sandbox difficulty, like in, in other similar building games where it's just building, there's no sort of catastrophic events. There's no, oh my God, your economy is going to die. It's very basic, very easy, easy enough for me. So it should be easy enough for you. There's also controller and keyboard support native. So it's not what wasn't an afterthought, which they mentioned. I thought that's really cool. I did see that they were like offering a custom Nintendo Switch controller. So this makes me think this is coming to the Switch would be really interesting. And that's uh, like another cool option because there are a few builders on the Switch, but they're really honestly not that great. I've played, there was a Viking game that I played at one point. I was like, mm. but yeah, no, this is a fantastic world. I played the turn-based game of this SteamWorld series. That was really cool. I played the card game. They had a card game in the same world, and that was also really good. And it was just really fantastic and thematic and cool characters and basically the art. Like, the art is really awesome, and I'm looking forward to it. One thing I'll, I'll have to add as a middle-aged gamer is I've realized with RTS games or strategy games, I have to focus and just play them, and I can't stop playing them because once I stop, I'm like, oh, my God. I come back a week later or a few days later, I'm like, how do you play this again? 